the next question in the C++ series is rectangle area. So here in this question, they have introduced us to inheritance concept in C++. So they have told us here that we have to create two classes. One is rectangle and another one is rectangle area. So the rectangle class should have two data fields width and height of integer type. Okay. And also the class should have a display method to print the width and height of the re rectangle. So uh, in this class rectangle, uh, we have to declare two variables width and height. And also uh, we have to define one function named display and inside uh, the another class uh, which is rectangle area so this class is inherited from the rectangle class and in this class we have to uh, we have to define uh, a read input function to read the values of width and height of the rectangle and then we have to print the area of the rectangle uh, and here in this case uh, we have to use a uh, display method so this method is already been used over here so there will be a concept of override here in this example so we'll take a look at sample input format so the first and the only line of input contains two space separated integers okay so as you can see it over here there are two space separated integers uh, length and width and then we, we have to print the same thing over here and down the answer of it that is the area okay so so it's width and height so it's width and height and we have to print width into height so we'll move to the code so this code is already been provided to us by hacker rank and as you can see it over here they have created one object of uh, rectangle area which is the derived class and from that they have accessed the member uh, function of the base class okay so what we'll do is uh, we'll first create a base class here in this case the name of the base class will be rectangle and here we have to declare two uh, variables because here we are as we are going to use inheritance concept uh, we want our variables to be inherited in the de uh, derived class so we have to declare them as protected not as private and the type of that variables will be integer the first one will be width and second one will be height and now down over here uh, we have to define a function it will be display function so the return type of it will be void and here we simply have to print the width and height and we have to give space in middle as they have told us to do so okay so that's it for this and down and down over here we are going to define derived class so for that we are going to write a class and the name of derived class here in this case will be rectangle area and this class will be derived from the rectangle class okay so we are going to write rectangle okay that's it for this and down inside this class uh, we have to mm, read the input from user as they have shown it over here so they have told us to create or define a function uh, read input and inside that function we have to take uh, the input of width and height from user and then we have to compute the area and we have to print it okay so first first of all uh, we'll uh, take spe access specifier as public and inside that uh, we'll take input from user the return type of that function will be void and we'll call it as read, read underscore input and inside that we'll, we are going to take input with the help of c in width and height okay so as we have taken input from user and now it's time to calculate the area void display and 
we have to print it don't forget to write handle and your width into height okay, so that's it so now we'll run the code and we'll check the output it is showing error okay now it's fine yeah, it is still showing me error for display we have declared it as protected but yes it should be public so we'll declare it as public yeah yeah that's it and now it will work fine yes and now we'll check it for rest of the test cases yes it is working for all other test cases also the solution for all the questions including the c++ series will be available on my channel and if you have any query let me know in the comment section given below and also thank you guys for watching this video